1957. It seems like a long time ago, but in my mind, I can be there in an instant. That's when my family and I moved to the small town of Hurricane, Utah. I was eight years old. As we arrived, we entered a magnificent desert landscape, one of soaring cliffs and deep canyons, deep blue skies highlighted by the red rock of the cliffs and mountains. My dad was a mining and oil engineer, and in many ways like an old-time prospector, always on a quest for the next big strike that would make us rich. Oil had been located outside Zion National Park, so that's why we ended up in southern Utah. Dad took the time to educate me about how the forces of nature, including how the wind and the rivers had shaped the land. He described that the entire geologic history was written in the cliffs and canyon walls. He really gave me an appreciation of nature, and that has stayed with me all these years. My mom had explained that Utah was mostly made up of Mormons, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. She said we might possibly be the only non-Mormons in town. So I wondered if I might have problems fitting in at my new school. As the days and weeks went by, I grew to appreciate and value this new experience. I was surprised that not only was I able to make friends, but people were nice and treated me like family. I also appreciated that, this being a rural community, there were small farms and pastures with horses and cows. Occasionally, my dad would take us up to the high country, which was a completely different landscape, one of high mesa rangeland, it turned out to be an idyllic setting, except for one thing. It was during that time, the Cold War and arms race with the Soviet Union was taking place. In nearby Nevada, atomic bombs were being tested just 100 miles away. With each atomic test, clouds of radioactive fallout would drift eastward, toward Utah, toward where we were living, directly downwind. Then hundreds of sheep at a local ranch suddenly died. Unexplained ailments, including cancers, began cropping up among our neighbors and throughout southern Utah. While everyone there was aware of the A-bomb tests, the government had assured us that there was nothing to worry about. Nothing could go wrong. <laughs> 